Okay, so today we're going to be talking about finding slope given two points. Now, there's a couple ways to do this, and I'm going to show you both ways here. Um, really, there's a well, it's a little bit more complicated, might, requires a better memory, and then there's just a simple, like, duh way of doing it. So I'm going to show you the more complicated way first, because I know you guys all want to do it that way. So, finding slope from two points. There is a formula that'll do this. And again, slope is always just the change in y over the change in x, right? Slope is, if I know how to spell, slope is rise over run, right? Or the change in y over the change in x. Okay? Rise or run, change in y over the change in x. Now another way, word we could put in there is the difference. Difference in y over the difference in x. And when we think of difference, um, what operation comes to mind? That would be subtraction, right? So if I wanted to find the slope from two points, the formula is I take my two y coordinates, so y1, so the y value from the first point, and subtract the y value from the second point. So y1 minus y2. And I'm going to put that over the x value of the first one minus the x value of the second one. It doesn't really matter which order you put these in, but if you do the y2s first, or y2 first, you need to do x2 first. So it's always the same um, coordinates from the same point, subtract the other coordinates. Okay? So for example, if I look at number one here, this is my first point, right? So I'm going to call this x1 and this y1. This is my second point, so this is x2 and y2. So to set this up, I just take the y value of the first one, 2, and minus the y value of the second one. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the x-coordinates. Take the x-value of the first one, minus the x-value, or the, the second one. Now, it was a negative number. That's why I put it in parentheses, because when you minus a negative, something's going to happen there. But let's simplify this now. 2 minus 17 is negative 15, right? And then 6 minus a negative, so same sign, add, and keep, it's 6 plus 13, is going to be positive 19. Can I simplify that? No. So that's my answer. That's the slope from those two points. Negative 15 over 19. Not too tough, right? Let's look at another example. So again, this is my first point, so I'll call this x1, y1. This is my second point, so x2, y2. Take the first coordinate, first y coordinate, negative 11, and subtract the second y coordinate, so a negative 1. Okay? And then do the same thing with the x coordinates. So negative 6 minus 16. So negative 11 minus a negative 1 would actually be plus 1, so that would be negative 10. So negative 11 plus 1 is negative 10, right? And then negative 16 minus 16 is going to go more negative, making a negative 22. Now, can I simplify that? Yes, I can simplify that. 10 over 22 is going to simplify to, hold on, 511. And it's positive 511, right? Because since they're both negative, the negatives would cancel out. And it would be positive 511. And that's your slope. Not too tough, right? Again, you just take the two y values, subtract them, take the two x values, subtract them, and then simplify. And that's all you have to really do. I'll do one more of this method, so 1 minus 20 over negative 12 minus 5. Two y coordinates subtracting each other, two x coordinates subtracting each other. 1 minus 20 is negative 19. Negative 12 minus 5 is going to be negative uh, 17. Only thing I can simplify there is 
make it a positive 19 over 17. Uh, yeah. And that's all I really need to do there. That's my answer, 19 over 17. Okay? Now let me show you another way. Say you can't remember that formula and you're struggling and it's, you just can't do it. Okay? Here's the Del way. So I'm given two points and a graph. So if you don't know the formula, can't remember it, remember you can always make a graph. It's not that hard to make a graph, right? And then you can just plot the points. So negative two and two would be right there. Positive three and two would be right there. Okay? That is a horizontal line, right? Horizontal line is going to have what type of slope? It rises, zero. Even if I counted the run of five, zero over five, zero divided by five is still zero. Slope is zero. This is a zero or a no slope. Okay? Not too tough. Again, using a graph, if I'm given two points, zero, negative five would be down here. Negative five and one is right there. That gives me two points, and now that I have a um, line here, now I can just build the stair, right? Rise is going to be six, and run is five, so be negative six over five, or five, six over a negative five, however you want to write that, and that would be your slope. It's going downwards, right? Do one more example with you guys. So 0, 4, right there. 1, 1, right there. There's my line. I'm going to build my stair. It's going down 3 over 1, negative 3 over 1. And that's your slope. Not too tough, right?